Which canned corned beef tastes best when it's cold? Which tastes best hot? Which tastes awful at any temperature? Keep watching for our ranking of canned corned beef brands from worst to best. If you want tasty Vienna sausages, opt for Armour. But if you're in the market for canned corned beef, stay far, far away. First off, the texture is so fatty and jello-like that it doesn't even look like it's meant for human consumption. Second, if you dare take a bite of this canned meat, you'll find that it lacks any savory goodness that should be a requirement of canned corned beef. If you absolutely have to buy corned beef from Armour, go with the corned beef hash. By adding potatoes to the mix, it improves the texture and taste a bit, though it's still a bottom-tier option. Although it sounds finger-licking good in theory, Oxen Palm corned beef is a major disappointment in practice. It's made from first-rate Australian beef that's been grass-fed, and it's free of antibiotics and hormones. Oxen Palm is PG's pride and the world's favorite. Sadly, though, it's just not worth it. The primary issue is inconsistency. From can to can, you never know what to expect from Oxen Palm. But even if you get one of the better cans, you'll still be massively underwhelmed, especially when factoring in the high price. It's way too fatty, and while the taste is okay, it's nothing to write home about. To make matters even worse, in 2021, Oxen Palm had to recall nearly 300,000 pounds of canned corned beef. So skip the gamble and pick a better brand. Chefmate is owned by Nestle, the Swiss conglomerate that's worth more than $300 billion. But despite the pedigree of its ubiquitous parent company, Chefmate corned beef hash is so boring that you'll yawn after each mouthful. The ingredients list insists that each can has corned beef, potatoes, and onions, but it tastes like it's purposefully made to be as flavorless as possible. The only flavor you'll be able to notice is a dash of saltiness, and that's about it. And on top of it all, Chefmate corned beef hash is also extremely greasy. So be kind to yourself and just say no to this brand. Just say no. Be sure you know what you're getting before you purchase a can of Underwood corned beef spread. As the name implies, this is a spread. The difference from regular corned beef may be more drastic than you're anticipating. It has a saltier, stronger flavor as well as the consistency of toothpaste. The best way to eat Underwood spread is to put some on a cracker, and a little goes a long way. If you make the mistake of using a heap of this spread to make a sandwich, you'll likely be grossed out. If you use this spread correctly, though, you won't be thrilled, but you can at least avoid ruining your meal. Iberia is a brand that's been around since 1930 that can be found in Spain, Latin America, the Caribbean, and the United States. All of its canned meat offerings will leave a smile on your face, thanks to their taste. Unfortunately, the texture of its canned corned beef holds it back from climbing higher on our list. The best corned beef is moist when you take it out of the can. Iberia canned corned beef, however, is too dry and crumbly. It too easily breaks into tiny pieces, and it's not easy to put it back together again. Another issue is the greasy taste that'll have you thinking twice before ever buying this brand again. If you pick Excelsior, make sure that your kitchen is well ventilated. That's because this brand has a really strong smell, and it's not a pleasant aroma. Instead, it smells like canned dog food that expired many moons ago. The good news is that Excelsior tastes a lot better than it smells. As an added bonus, there's also nothing to complain about in terms of texture. That said, despite the positives, the smell is probably all you'll be able to remember. So don't settle for something that'll stink up your kitchen when you don't have to. It stinks! The first brand on this list that you won't regret picking is Great Value. Not everything about this Walmart store brand is worthy of your hard-earned dollars, but it's good enough to serve its purpose, especially when you factor in the low price. Texture-wise, Great Value is close to perfect. It holds its form whether you want to eat it hot or cold. Flavor-wise, though, it's not quite as rosy. The main problem is a subtle yet unmistakable metallic taste. When it first enters your mouth, it'll instantly hit you, and once the aftertaste kicks in, the metallic flavor re-emerges. It's not bad enough that you'll want to spit it out, but it's still pretty annoying. Canned corned beef is popular in the Caribbean, so considering that Goya is known for selling Caribbean food items, it's no wonder that Goya corned beef exists. And it's definitely above average, but only if you warm it up first. The best canned corned beef tastes great regardless of whether you eat it hot or cold, but this isn't something you'll want to eat at lower temps. The texture is too rubbery and the flavor is muted right out of the can. When you heat it up, though, the texture drastically improves and the realistic beef-like flavor emerges. If you always heat your canned corned beef, you're good to go. Otherwise, look elsewhere. 
Back in 1937, Hormel introduced Spam to the world. Even if you think Spam is disgusting, you should still give Hormel corned beef hash a try. It's bursting with flavors and surprisingly hearty. If you eat it for breakfast, you can be sure that you'll start your day on the right foot. Simply put, there are good reasons why this is one of America's top-selling corned beef hash. Be forewarned, though, that when you go shopping for this brand, you'll need to be on your toes. If you accidentally buy Hormel corned beef instead, you'll be mighty disappointed. This version isn't even comparable to the hash. The texture is too mushy and the flavor is too nondescript. You might taste a little bit of salt, but that's about it. You can think of Grace corned beef as the opposite of Goya. Whereas Goya needs to be served warm, Grace is much better when it's cold. Open the can, cut off a slice, and put it directly on your sandwich. That's all you need to do to make a wonderful meal. Even if your sandwich is just bread and corned beef, that's still enough for culinary success. If you warm up this corned beef instead, it won't be completely ruined as it's still easily above average. Grace was founded in Jamaica a century ago. Today, the company and its subsidiaries operate across the Caribbean, UK, and Central and North America. It's one of the most popular brands on the island, and you'll immediately understand why after your very first bite. You may need to grab a map to understand Argentina corned beef. Argentina is just the brand name, as the South American country actually has nothing to do with this product. In fact, this particular brand is owned by Century Pacific Food, which is headquartered in the Philippines. And interestingly enough, Argentina corned beef is made in the United States, which is actually rare in this industry. Meanwhile, Brazil, Argentina's neighbor in South America, is the leading manufacturer of canned corned beef. Once you forget about the geography and let your taste buds take center stage, you'll discover that this corned beef is actually really good. Look for the shredded version if you want a unique treat, as it's firmer and less fatty compared to other brands. And to enhance the flavor, it comes in a delectable sauce that adds an extra savory dose of meatiness. So meaty! If you're looking for canned corned beef that tastes like it's homemade, go for Exeter. It comes in a slick retro can, and it tastes like the stuff your grandmother used to make. The flavor is a beautiful marriage of beef and salt, with nothing else interrupting the proceedings. It even manages to taste fresh, even though it's in a can, and that's especially notable because a lot of the competition on the market tastes extremely processed. A can of Exeter corned beef looks like something that you might find in the back of your grandmother's cupboard, or like a piece in an antique collection. Just make sure that the can says that it's a product of Brazil. If it says that it was made in Argentina, it's a counterfeit, in which case you should eat it only at your own risk. If you want the top store brand of canned corned beef, then head directly to Aldi. That's where you'll find Brookdale's Corned Beef and Corned Beef Hash. This brand is cheap in price and rich in flavor. The hash may be a little bit better, but neither option will let you down. If you opt for the hash, you owe it to yourself to eat it with eggs. Fry a couple sunny side up and then allow the yolk and the hash to mingle. The resulting combination will be so spectacular that you'll be thinking about it all day. Aldi has a lot of cans on its shelves, and there are a lot of outstanding values to be found. So before you head to one of its stores, be absolutely sure to add this corned beef to your shopping list. If you've ever enjoyed a delicious Jamaican meal that prominently features corned beef and you want to try to replicate the recipe in your own kitchen, then go with the Jamaican Country Styles Canned Corned Beef. This stuff is amazingly rich and has a surprisingly complex flavor profile. The corned beef is salty once it hits your tongue, and then moments later you're met with a flood of savoriness. And before you swallow, you'll be able to detect a pleasing hint of sweetness. If a Jamaican local tells you to try some bully beef, this is the exact sort of thing they're talking about. While there are other options on the market, Jamaican Country Style does it best. This brand has been around for almost four decades, and it's completely owned and operated by Jamaicans, although the canned corned beef is produced in Uruguay, a small nation in South America between Brazil and Argentina. We're almost to the very best canned corned beef in the world. Hereford doesn't quite rank number one on our list, but it's definitely worth trying at least once in your life. It tastes different than every other brand, and the quality is pristine. It's also free of added hormones and contains no MSG or gluten. While lesser brands are known to use fillers, this canned meat is 98% beef. Hereford is a French company that's primarily known for its corned beef, and it's used the same exact recipe for decades. Once you taste it, you may struggle to justify ever switching to another brand. Simply put, the flavor of the beef is top-notch. Comparing other brands to this one would be like comparing a steak at a dirty diner to one at a fancy steakhouse. It's just not even a contest. It's impossible to go wrong when it comes to the canned corned beef made by Libby's. First of all, it's widely available throughout the United States, so it's easy to track down. Second, whether you prefer corned beef or corned beef hash, Libby's has you covered. Both are equally excellent. And finally, this canned meat tastes great if it's hot, cold, or any temperature in between. 
If a recipe calls for canned corned beef, Libby's is always more than capable of doing a fantastic job. So how did Libby's become the king of the corned beef universe? Experience plays a major part. Since their very beginning back in 1869, the company has focused on canned corned beef. More than 150 years later, it's safe to say that Libby's has mastered the art of this particular canned delicacy. You like Libby's. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.